Niger's film industry in Nollywood received bad news on Monday following the death of actor, producer and director Obi Madubogu, a veteran who became famous for his role as King Muzanga in the movie titled Battle of Muzanga. The multi-talented actor had been battling ill health for a while before his death on the 28th of August. Here's a look at the life as one of Nollywood's forerunners. I don't even want to go. <laughs> Mama, why won't you enjoy? Tell me, why won't you enjoy? Have you forgotten how much you suffered for me? Obi Madubuogu earned a notorious on-screen reputation majorly from his roles during the formative years of Nollywood. He journeyed into the art of filmmaking from watching the popular Igbo sitcom Okbulu Ayaun and Michael Riedima from his base in Onicha at the period. He eventually got drawn into acting in a theatre group before taking his debut on-screen role in the movie Power of Love. In 1996, he joined the Nollywood Big League as he moved to Lagos State and received a title character, King Musanga, in the critically and commercially acclaimed epic Battle of Musanga. The success of the movie complemented his acting skills, and from there, the scripts wouldn't stop coming. Who are we? We are Muzanga people. Muzanga Muzanga. Muzanga. Yeah. The king of Muzanga will never tolerate any act of insubordination. If anyone dares, I shall dare him! Dare him! In 1999, for a man who weighed well over 300 kilograms, a sudden weight loss got tongues wagging as it became visible that Madubogu is unwell. Many tabloids reported that the boisterous actor had contacted HIV and is suffering from full blown AIDS. His stock as a filmmaker fell as he became a victim of stigmatization. At that period, he went off the screens. Oh, I don't mind this. She's just pulling your legs. Stop massaging her. She's not a baby. She is my baby. Your own will soon arrive. Oh. Kate is now your baby. Mm. So what am I? Stop behaving like a spoiled child. Don't worry. Mama will soon go. We know who will be doing all this for you. You will do it too. If not, I will come back here and take her to the village until she puts to bed. No way. So, are you going to village? No. Son of one, who invited you? Wife of one who stop spoiling my wife. That's how she'd be lazy any time you come here. In 2004, he produced and starred in the dramatic thriller Mothers in Law alongside Patience Ozokwo, Iniedo, Bob Mano Doku, and many others. The movie yet again earned impressive accolades as his career got a new lease of life. I will look at the mask. But for me to run, hey Laila, I will never run, run, run from them again. I can't wait for that day. Let me see how long you stand looking at the mask with eyeball to eyeball <laughs> before you run, stumble and fall. God, <laughs> you are crazy. What are you saying? I can't stand the mask with Joy! 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 Mama, what's the problem? Why are you, why are you screaming? Will you go straight to the kitchen and be your friend? Mama, if you want Joy to help you in the kitchen, why don't you just say so? You don't have to shout. Biachike, when did kitchen matter become the concern of the men? When? He later found out he is suffering from acute diabetes and formed the Saving Lives African Diabetes Foundation in 2009 to help others, including his colleagues, understand and create awareness about the disease. His health improved, but the filming industry witnessed the emergence of new crop of filmmakers who became the rave of the moment. In 2015, he produced the paranormal romantic thriller Grave Dust, starring Ramsey Noir, Jacques Silva, and Joseph Benjamin. Shortly after that, the news broke that he has been hospitalized. Oh, I need to know. Tell me, what is it? You're breaking my heart here. Oh, Jacques, no, I'm sorry. I can't do this, Jacques. Your wife's problem is not possible. I have reason to believe it's a spirit that has risen up against us. Who is this 
enemy that is tormenting my wife. But the man that is appearing to me is different. I don't care who's appearing to you. I just want to understand why he's appearing to you. In 2016, pictures surfaced online of a bedridden Madubogu amidst public plea for funds to pay his health care bills. He passed away on Monday, August the 28th, 2017, in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. May soul rest in peace.